All right, so I'm at Mosquito Lake right now, and I found a really active spot for Bream and Eid. So, here we are at 5080. I am using Cottage Cheese. I am currently using for ground bait, Pure Barley, Maggots, Millet Porridge, and Anise Oil. And the best thing about this is that you do not need a spot rod. That is right. 90% of my videos, uh, I go over active spots, but most of them you need spot. So, you, you um. Littler players can't really fish those. So, today I am not using Spod. I am using the Paternoster rig. So, basically, any of you can use this rig because it's only like I believe the fourth or fifth rig in from unlocking from the beginning. So, a lot of you early on players have access to this rig. So, that's a big bonus. I'm at 50 80. Oh, see another eye right there. Look at that. I'll show you my keep net in just a second. We all these fish in. Like, I just discovered the spot randomly. <laughs> and then I can't believe how much Bream and um, I has been producing. Alright, so I've been here for well, 40 minutes. And in 40 minutes, I have 103 fish. See, the rods keep going off. I have 103 fish. If we go to my keep net here, and we go to Bream, look at all these Bream. 40 to 45 minutes I've been here and I have all these bream. Like look at these nice sizes. Um, we can go to Eid. Look how many eyes I've caught. This is an amazing, amazing spot. Um, so once again, the ground bait is pure barley, maggots, millet porridge, and anise oil, cottage cheese dough. I am currently using the Zenith WG hook S1 large. Um, 60 centimeters, 13.6 kilogram. Um, braided line so you can copy all of this and see how many bream and eye you can catch at this spot if the rods keep on popping off hello where'd you go there you are another eyed like oh my goodness this is insane and i'm stuck oh my goodness thank you appreciate it very active spot and you're gonna get the odd cruise in there and there and the odd common carp but yeah, let me know down in the comment section below um, how many bream, how many eyed you've caught here. Um, any trophies, let me know. I love to hear that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have luck at the spot. Oh, well, there's a decent tench for you. 1.134 kilogram tench. So you can also get tench out of the spot, which is really nice. Like, you can get a variety of fish. Common carp. You can get Tench, um, Bream, Eyed. Like, there's a ton. Give a Carp. All on Cardis Cheese, though. You know, you don't see that every day. Yeah, there's a Give a Carp for you. So, you can probably get some Give a Carp trophies out of this spot as well. Flying 2 is going off. There's a tiny bream, but that's going to happen. You can catch um, a couple of tiny bream there and there. But all in all, this spot is really active. So I'd definitely come here and give it a try. Uh, spot 5080 at Mosquito Lake. Um, I can't wait to see what my cash out is going to be. It's going to be a lot of silver. All in around 40 minutes I've been here. And you know, if I found it, find an active spot, I can't... Uh, can't just talk it to myself. I'll share it with you guys as well. <laughs> we got fish on line three. And the bream. But you know what? The best part about catching small bream is, is that you can flay them up into some fish pieces. Two for one deal. Go to a piece of fish, and then keep slaying that up and get your fish pieces total up, so that you'll never run out ever again. Fish um, nibbling on line one here. There we go. There's a common cart. There's another eye. Once again, another 684 gram eye. You love to see I this active. 
You know, sometimes it can be hard to locate a eye, active eye spot, but I would say this spot right here is a definitely a good spot to fish for eye for right now, at least. Um, I'm not sure when the spot will die out, because it will eventually, but I'm hoping a lot of you can catch trophies out of the spot before it does die down. Another eye. Oh my goodness gracious, man. I'll take it. Like, so many eyes. You know, one's due for a trophy, right? One has to be. You know, I would I would gladly take it. I would also take a bream trophy because I don't have one yet. So that's why I'm trying to find some bream spots. And then I ran into this little honey hole right here. And I can't believe how damn active it is. I hope um, all of you have the same luck I do at the spot. If not, I do apologize. So most of the lower levels should have this unlocked. It's not PVA this time, so you don't have to worry about it. You can fish this spot. Um, we are not using PVA today. And we you just seen there we caught another eye once again. This spot is smoking hot, man. And another bream. Alright. And I went ahead and sold all the fish that we're not fishing for today. Like I sold my carp and all of that so that... Um, we can see more of what kind of the total is for the fish we caught today. Um, so 71 fish in about 40 minutes time, 45 minutes. Um, yeah, that is unbelievable. We, had a, we have a bite on line number three. And line number one. Probably just a baby, right? Yeah. You're going to have a couple, couple big ones in a row, and then you're going to have a lot of tiny ones in a row. Um... You can release them or make fish, fish pieces out of the smaller ones if you want. I know something was nibbling on rod 3. I seen that. You gonna nibble again for me? Come on, nibble again for daddy. Come on now. Oh. On, on Bream or an Eyed once, uh, once that bait on line number 2. It's a Gibble Carp. I lied. <laughs> You're gonna catch the odd gibble carp there and there. Um, also tench. Um, you can catch a lot of tench from the spot. So a lot of variety of fish, which is awesome. So I'm probably gonna catch a couple more fish here and then see how much we made. Okay, we got a bite on line number three. You just have to swallow it. Oh, and something took line one. Hallelujah. Uh, baby bream, but I'm going to keep them just because I make fish pieces out of them. So either way, it's a win-win scenario for me. Um, yeah, just going to go to fish pieces and then play this one up. I have infinite amount of f fish pieces. You'd love to see it. I have like over six, seven hundred fish pieces by now, so I'm not, I'm not going to run out anytime soon. Okay, we got something online too. Another bream. Okay. So let's go cash out and see what we made. Get up the hill. Move the ass up the hill. Come on, boy. Move it up the hill. Move that ass. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> cafe. Let's see if there's any cafe orders. Um, white bream we didn't get any of. No, not that big of a common. Usually I'm in the comment section, people let me know that I missed some uh, things in the cafe because I have a really bad eye. I'm going to make sure that I'm not missing any cafe orders. I don't think so. Alright, so let's go to the fish market. And let's see how much we made. 443 silver in about 40 minutes time. Um, the reason why I was looking for a bream spot is because I don't have a bream trophy yet. And I really want one. So I'm trying to target a bream trophy or an eye trophy. So when I discovered the spot, you have a chance at both these trophies. So you might as well fish it. Um, we had... Three, four, five, fourteen Ides. Holy! We had fifty-four breams. Like holy cow! All right, that's a lot of fish right there. All right, so let me know down in the comment section below um, how much luck you had at this spot. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, hit the bloody hell out subscribe button, and I'll see all of you on the very next episode of Russian Fishing Fort. Take care.